everyone, and thank you for joining us today. This is Stephanie Mosca, Managing Editor at Technology Marketing Corporation, and welcome to today's webinar called Complete Turnkey IP PBX Solutions. Transitioning from a legacy phone system to an all IP system can require a complete overhaul of your telephony infrastructure. However, depending on the phone system that you already have in place, this extensive process may not be the best approach for your business. Instead, with the right equipment, you can leverage your existing phone system while at the same time migrating to a converged IP infrastructure at your own pace. Today's presentation will explore the highlights of turnkey IP PBX solutions by utilizing patent smart node gateways and the next generation 3CX phone system. Our speakers today include Ramon Felder, President and CEO of Patent in Elf Networks AG, Tyler DeLynn, Product Manager at Patent Electronics, and Brian Conway, North American Channel Manager for 3CX. With more than 15 years in the telecom industry, Ramon provides leadership and strategic direction to Patent's European headquarters and converged IP product management team. Ramon played an instrumental role in the development and marketing of Patent's flagship brand SmartNode line of VoIP gateway, router, and SCC products. Tyler serves as product manager for Patent SmartNode voice over IP products, supporting the North America, South America, and Central Europe regions. He also manages all marketing activity for Patent SmartNode brand. And lastly, with over 20 years of telecom experience, having held positions in sales management and marketing, Brian is responsible for overseeing channel marketing growth and managing sales for 3CX's North American territory. Now before we begin, just a quick program note. Our presenters will answer questions during a Q&A session that will follow today's presentation. I encourage you to submit your questions to us using the interface on your PC at any time, either during the Q&A or as they arise during the presentation. We'll get to as many of your questions as we can, and any that we are unable to get to will be archived, and I know our presenters will, will be happy to answer them offline following today's event. The entire event will also be archived, and each of you will be receiving information on how to access the webinar tomorrow, so you can follow up on anything you may have missed or pass that information on to your colleagues. Well, now that we have all of the basics out of the way, let's get started. Tyler? Yes, thank you, Stephanie. Thanks to all of you, first of all, for taking the time from your day to uh, join us for the Patent 3CX joint webinar highlighting complete turnkey IP PBX solutions. Uh, we promise this will be worth your time. We've got some good content for all of you guys. And be sure to stick around till the conclusion of this webinar as we're going to be offering um, an exclusive webinar discount for all patent 3CX bundles solutions um, with a promotion code uh, to all that have attended this webinar. First, uh, we're going to have Brian Connolly um, outline uh, the 3CX phone system. If you guys aren't familiar with it, he'll give you a quick overview and, and the benefits of a 3CX phone system. Then I will come back on and give you a quick overview of the patent smart node um, product line. And then I'll bring on Ramon Felder, and he'll um, show you the, the smart node with 3CX solutions and, and where um, he'll help you identify opportunities where these uh, solutions will benefit. Um, you, you and your customers, and then he'll also talk about the 3CX smart node configuration tool where it actually auto provisions the smart node for you. Um, and then I will come back on towards the end and give you a really, really clear and easy step-by-step -step process um, by which you can buy or sell this 3CX and patent smart node bundle. Uh, we really have two goals today. Um, for one, uh, we want to paint a clear picture of the advantages of a software-based IPPBX like 3CX phone system. And then most importantly, uh, the purpose of this webinar is to teach you guys how you can actually integrate your existing uh, telephony in infrastructure using a smart node gateway with your 3CX phone system. So maybe you're connecting your 3CX phone system to the PSTN for calls. Maybe you're just doing that for survivability reasons in case your network goes down. Maybe you want to connect legacy uh, phone equipment to your uh, IPPBX. Um, all of these uh, possible solutions and, and strategies, Ramon Felder will, will talk, about, uh, uh, talk about to us uh, in depth. So I, will, I guess I'll go ahead and pass it off to Brian Connolly, the uh, 3CX's North American Channel Manager, and he'll give you a quick overview of 3CX phone system. Brian? Okay, thank you, Tyler, and thank you for everyone joining us this afternoon. Um, with 3CX, there's just so much for me to talk, talk to you all about, but uh, I'll have to be brief and short. So bear with me, and I'm going to start off by, this, by just talking about open and tested um, 3CX has been in the United States market now for five years. Uh, we started in 2005 in Europe. Our corporate offices are in Cyprus, 
Um, our CEO, our, our software development group, we have a, a large presence in Cyprus, and our footprint be actually began, we started selling software license keys way back uh, in toward the end of 2006. And then we uh, immigrated to the United States in, in May of 2007, so this month is actually our five-year anniversary here in the United States market. So we feel we, we, when we say open, we, we don't mean open source, we mean open standards. Uh, our, our goal is to provide a software-based IPPBX that runs on Windows that's going to support the customer or the partner's decision on what hardware to purchase, meaning whatever their SIP phone, whatever SIP phone they like, whether it be a Polycom or Cisco, a Yealink, a Grandstream, or Astro, whatever it may be, and, and perhaps the Panasonics that are coming up, uh, we, we want the partner or the customer to have their choice on what hardware uh, regarding SIP phone and also platform, uh, what kind of uh, server or desktop machine to install 3CX upon. So we're open standards, but not open source. It's our code. We support it fully. Uh, 3CX, we are a software development company. We've been a Microsoft partner for a long time. And so all of the 3CX phone system code is, is developed and maintained by 3CX. Uh, we run on uh, Microsoft Windows. We felt back in the in the in the, in the er, uh, probably about early 2000s that uh, right now, you know, it seemed like Asterisk was gaining a lot of momentum and Linux boxes, and we felt that if we would have something that would run on a Microsoft platform, that we would have a competitive advantage. We feel that uh, the market tells us that eight out of ten businesses run Microsoft uh, for their company platform. And infrastructure, so we felt that pro providing a, a Windows solution for IPPBX would be a, a good thing for us to do. So we run on Windows only, and we're not Linux. We're strictly running on Windows. Uh, we support just about all the platforms on micro that Microsoft have, has to offer. Uh, if someone has a small PBX, they want to run it on a Windows 7 professional machine, fine. If they want to run us on even on a Windows XP Service Pack 3 machine, that's fine. Uh, the only thing we ask, though, is you don't put us on, on Vista Home. Uh, it'll run on Vista Home, but we don't recommend, recommend anything with Vista Home. But um, as you get into a little larger PBXs, we recommend a server-grade OS. So uh, I would say probably the majority of our installations today are going on Windows Server 2008 R2. Uh, we're seeing just a lot of our software now on, in a virtual environment. We support VMware and Hypervisor. And the next, the next bullet point is that we are completely software-based. The 3CX phone system is exactly that. It's strictly software. Uh, we have no intentions of getting into hardware. There are so many good uh, manufacturing companies there, and, and Patton's have been a, a long-time partner for us. In fact, it would be kind of a, a miss on my part if I didn't say I've been with 3CX for four years now, and Patton has just been an absolutely outstanding partner for us. I've thoroughly enjoyed working with Patton. Their gateways are rock solid, and they're very easy to install, and we'll talk a bit more about that as we go forward. But 3CX is strictly software. Again, we do not uh, manufacture an appliance, and we have no need, or I should say, no desire to get into the hardware business whatsoever. One of the things that we tout is that we save costs, and uh, our software license keys are very inexpensive, as we'll get into later on during this presentation. But again, what we, what we try to represent or at least stress is that you can install 3CX on your existing infrastructure. You know, a lot of our partners are, will go to their customers, and their customers are, are running Windows, there are multiple machines, perhaps multiple servers, maybe in a virtual machine environment, et cetera, et cetera. Why not just install 3CX as another application that's running on, that, on those servers? The machines are powerful and getting more and more powerful every day, why not install 3CX as another application on your existing infrastructure? So we like to say right up front, we can save costs on hardware and you know, installing our software on what you already have. Okay, I'm going to move to the next slide. We feel that our software is very easy to install. Uh, we, when we came to market back in 2006, we felt to, to, to get some traction in the marketplace, we needed a free edition. Uh, we, needed some, we needed the ability for someone to go to our website and download 3CX software and see for themselves how easy our software is to install. So we do have a free edition, and 
and uh, it's been very uh, successful for us as far as helping us uh, get the, the branding of 3CX in the market. And uh, what we do in the free edition is we turn off many of the telephone system features. Uh, a lot of the PBX features are turned off, but you can install 3CX. Uh, typically, I'll hear from a customer uh, that install our software in anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Uh, typically, I'll hear from a customer that has downloaded our, our, our software, and they're up and running on a, full, on a, on a, on a fully working PBX in, in under an hour. We also say that uh, our, our phone system is easy to administer. Um, our user interface is written in .NET. We try to be as much as we can like other Microsoft applications that are in the market. And so our uh, administration, our 3CX Mansion console is actually a .NET application. It's very easy to administer the 3CX phone system. And uh, it's very easy to do moves, ads, and changes. And uh, you'll, you, you can, as you go through our, our uh, 3CX management console, you would see that for yourself. And I would encourage you all that if, you haven't, if you're on the call today and you haven't had a chance to download our free edition, uh, just please go ahead and download it. And uh, we'd love for you to test, test drive our software. We also believe that our, 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 we have easy phone management. Uh, some of the manufacturers today have a, what's called a universal plug and play feature. Uh, basically, you would insert the, the, the IP phone into the network connection. It sends a simulcast message to the 3CX server. You would just assign an extension, and then the phone will, will pull down its configuration file uh, and reboot and auto-provision itself. But we actually have a node inside the 3CX management console that will show you all the phones that are registered to the system, IP addresses, Mac, you know, software, ver the firmware release on the phones, et cetera. Very easy to uh, manage your, your phones that are connected to 3CX phone system. Now, in this next slide, um, enterprise features. Uh, we are really excited about our latest releases, version 11. As I mentioned, uh, I started with 3CX four years ago, and uh, we had just uh, come out with version 6. Uh, version 3 was our first commercial license keys, and now we've rolled out version 11. We honestly feel that with version 11, it's really going to take us to the next level in, in what we would call more enterprise-wide applications, meaning multiple PBXs installed in multiple countries all over the world. And with version 11, I think we're, we've arrived there. Now, another important um, capability that we want to stress is the employee mobility. Um, again, this is just our opinion, if you will, or our, our, our belief. But uh, we feel that in the future, more and more people are going to want to communicate on one device. And we don't know what that device will be. It could be the smartphone. It could be something else. But what 3CX wants to be positioned is to be able to provide your extension on that device. So you'll see that in this picture, in this uh, slide, we have our, our 3CX phone for Windows, or excuse me, 3CX phone for iPhone, and 3CX phone for Android. We've had a soft phone client for Windows now for quite some time. It's very popular. Uh, a lot of folks will download, you know, hundreds of thousands of our soft phone for Windows. Again, it's free. It has VLF capability. It has video confer conference ca uh, capability. And it's a, just a very popular soft phone for Windows. And, again, it's free. And so what we've taken is that 3CX phone for Windows, and now we've moved it over to Android, and we've moved it over to iPhone. Uh, I'll have uh, customers that will call me on their iPhone or their Android or on their iPad too, whatever it may be, and they're having a conversation on this one device. So again, we want to position ourselves in that whatever that communication device is in the future, you can run your 3CX extension on it. Uh, so employee mobility. Now that's not just for soft phones, uh, the soft phone client, but also for remote extensions. And then we also have CRM integration. Obviously, since we're a, a Microsoft-based IPPBX, we've always integrated to Exchange, and we've always integrated to Outlook. And now, recently, in the last year or so, we've actually taken that, uh, where our APIs now will integrate with Microsoft Dynamics. We have a Circuit CRM API, Sage Act, and, of course, Salesforce.com. So CRM integration. We also, if you go to our website, you'll see that we have some APIs that many of our customers will use and, and establish custom applications and things like that using our free APIs. Unified communications with 3CX My Phone. And this is something that really sets us apart from our competition. 
what we call the 3CX My Phone, if you will, it's a free desktop application. Now, what that means is not just that it's free, but it's going to help you manage your extension. Whether you're using a desk phone or whether you're using a soft phone or whatever, you're gonna, you, can, you can use the 3CX My Phone to help you manage your extension. Now, in the My Phone, it is a Microsoft Silverlight-based platform. So it, it's browser-based, web-based, I should say, and we support Mac. So if you run an Apple machine and you want to download, or I should say use the My Phone as a browser, be more than happy to, to do that. Uh, obviously, you can install the My Phone on the desktop uh, with desktop components. But within the My Phone, not only is it a tool to be able to manage your extension, but we also provide you presence and chat. We have presence, so you can see who's on the phone, who's not. Caller ID, all of that information is displayed on the My Phone. So we also have a chat capability. And so if you want to use our chat as an internal communication mechanism, the My Phone will provide that for you. Again, this is a free desktop application. So we encourage our partners when they're installing SIP phones uh, to make sure that you are uh, training and, and informing your customer on the My Phone. Because when they see the My Phone, and the fact that they can use your, their mouse to transfer calls or to transfer folks into voicemail, uh, basically just you know answer you know use your use your mouse use your my phone. They might not even look they might not even look or use their desktop telephone. So that's what we mean by my phone 3CX my phone. Now also we have uh, the call center functionality built inside our software, and we have a full blown uh, call center uh, with uh, with queue strategies with uh, things with using the My Phone to be able to listen in, to listen in and whisper. Uh, there is re reporting capabilities. All the things that a call center manager would like to use in a call center is built inside our software in the call center module. Now the next slide is this on what we see, but by me, by what we mean competitive pricing. Uh, if you're not a 3CX partner, I, I, I encourage you to sign up for our partner program. We'll talk about that in a moment. But typically, we'll never get beat on price. Uh, typically, uh, most, if not almost all, the situations that I see and my partners talk to me about, when we're competing against a Cisco or an Avaya or a Shortel, we're just a fraction of their cost. And in our software license model, uh, what we say, when you buy a 36 license key, it is a one-time purchase. And more importantly, is not just that it's a one-time purchase, but there's no licensing for extensions. There's no licensing for trunks. It's unlimited extensions and unlimited trunks. And our commercial license keys start at $495. You can install a what we call mini edition for simultaneous call license key on a Windows 7 professional box with a couple gig of RAM. You know, that might support five to ten extensions, uh, your typical small business, for $495. And our licensing is based on what we call simultaneous calls. Uh, we don't license for extensions. We don't license for trunks, as I've said. We license our software by simultaneous calls, or think of it as concurrent calls or talk paths. Our entry-level license key starts with four. We go to what we call our small business edition, which is eight, which is our number one selling license key for $795. And that small business edition, eight simultaneous call license key will support Anywhere of a PBX from 10 to 15 to 20 extensions, and then we grow. Then we have a 16, a 32, a 64, all the way up to a 512. Actually, a 1,024. We've actually proposed uh, a 1,024 simultaneous call, uh, license key. And I, I would, I would also like to say uh, here in the United States, we have some larger installations overseas, but we rolled out in the United States our largest so far, our largest uh, customer so far. In the United States, uh, the Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul, the Star Tribune, the newspaper, uh, they have roughly a little over 1,000 extensions running on a server 2008R2, and they purchased a 256 simultaneous call license key. Under the license keys, you'll see about joining the 3CX partner program. Again, if you're not a partner, please please uh, check out our partner program. It's, it, it's not going to cost you a dime except your time. Uh, we basically will have partners sign up that are either your traditional Microsoft partners, your IT integrators, your managed service providers, or some of the folks that have been selling the traditional or legacy TDM systems. 
And uh, what they will do is they'll sign up to the, the, the 3CX Partner Program. They will, in turn, receive a free, not for resale license key. We'll send them a license key. That license key, we expect them to install and become comfortable and confident with our software. We also provide free technical support. So a 3CX partner will receive free technical support as well. And all of our training events are free. In fact, we have one here in Atlanta coming up, an advanced training class uh, in Atlanta for two days. We're going to go to a new format, a two-day advanced training class, and we're really going to just dig into a lot of different advanced uh, level type topics. And then also, as a 3CX partner, you have access to the 3CX partner portal. So it's the partner portal with additional information, as well as the support portal, et cetera. See here if I'm, I'm going to be. I think I might be running out of time, but I guess at this point I have a lot more to say, but I won't. Tyler, I guess I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you, Brian. Well, just a quick overview of our smart node gateways. Um, if you weren't familiar, a gateway just basically integrates IP and TDM communications. It connects the old world of telephony to the new world of telephony. So our most common applications are going to be, you know, SIP trunking, where you have a legacy PBX or legacy phones, and you're connecting them to your voice over IP service provider. Or it's the other way around, especially in, in terms of this webinar, you're connecting your IP PBX to PSTN lines, whether it's just to use the PSTN lines or if you want to use them for survivability in case your network goes down. Um, so that's what a VoIP gateway does. Our smart node product line, we have a full product line um, that offers anywhere from 1 uh, to 32 FXS, FXO, and combinations of um, models. And then we have models that go anywhere from 1 to 8 ISDN BRI. Um, and actually, new models now that combine BRI with FXS, FXO. Uh, we also provide models with anywhere from one to four T1E1 PRI uh, capabilities. Uh, all of these units go anywhere from one to 120 VoIP uh, or fax call capacity, and each of our smart node gateways has the option for an internal IP router if you want to do QoS or VPN capabilities. Um, we also offer models with WAN interfaces like G.SHDSL, ADSL, and then we offer an option, a license option for transcoding in case you want to transcode between VoIP protocols in and outside of your network. So why SmartNode? Um, well, our customers, they're definitely not quiet about why they choose SmartNode as their gateway of choice. Um, if you talk to any of them, the first thing they'll bring up is just their quality and reliability and just our reputation in the marketplace. Um, time and time again, it's just because they trust our product. They know it will work. They know that once they get it set up in their network, they don't have to worry about it. Um, the other, uh, I guess, main response we get and probably our biggest differentiator is just our customer support team. I mean, these guys are absolutely phenomenal. Um, if you call us, you will actually have direct access to us. We'll pick up the phone. You'll talk to one of our guys around the world. Um, and these guys, as I said, they're phenomenal. We get praise reports um, all the time from these guys. And um, uh, everybody just loves them. Um, and on top of all this, uh, the biggest uh, key differentiator is that all this customer support is completely free. So any 9 to 5 uh, typical support is going to be completely free of charge. Now you can get our premium support uh, at a cost. That will give you a VIP email account. That will give you um, guaranteed response time. But typical customer support is completely free. We also have proven interoperability around the world with IPPBX, SoftSwitch, and um, uh, uh, voice over IP service providers. Uh, we also say that we offer a robust enterprise feature sets and functionality. This isn't just your residential gateway. This is truly an enterprise gate grade uh, voice over IP gateway. We like to say our smart nodes are more than just talk, as they do more than just voice functionality. They offer all, they also offer uh, internal IP router if you want to do QoS, if you want to do VPN, you, uh, transcoding, uh, anything you want. Uh, the last thing I would like to highlight is that we are truly Swiss engineered and made in the USA. Our software is developed over in Switzerland, um, and then all of our products are made right here in Washington, D.C., where I am. Um, they're manufactured right here in our headquarters, so we can boast both Swiss precision and the quality that comes with being made right here in the USA. So 
let's get to the solutions. Um, the, these are the, the, the complete turnkey IPPVX solutions that Ramon is going to highlight. Uh, these are uh, the components of these solutions are 3CX phone system that Brian talked about with a smart node voice over IP gateway, and in some instances you might want to even purchase some SIP phones. So why this solution? What does it offer you? Um, as Brian said, the 3CX phone system, it saves costs and increases productivity with all of its tools. Um, but I'd say not only does it save costs and increase productivity with the 3CX phone system, but you're also using a smart node gateway, you can actually save costs in connecting your 3CX phone system to your existing infrastructure. Whether that's uh, your existing PSTN line, your existing legacy phones, you want a dedicated fax line, uh, maybe you want to connect to another office that has legacy phone equipment and you want to do free inter office calling, um, or maybe you just want to set yourself up with some survivability lines and you can save yourself the cost of uh, what happens when your network goes down. Uh, we also wanted to say that the 36 phone solution is quick and easy to install. We do know that gateways aren't easy to configure, uh, but with 3CX we've developed an auto provisioning tool within 3CX where you basically just take a drop down, pick your smart node, and it'll auto provision it for you, and Ramona will go into detail on that. Uh, both of our companies offer outstanding customer support. Your experience will be phenomenal. Uh, we have proven interoperability. We've been with 3CX pretty much since the beginning, um, and we've uh, been deployed all over the world. And both of our solutions, both of our companies offer reliable solutions. So now I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to Ramon Felder. He's our executive product line manager for SmartNode and also our CEO of Patent in Out Networks. And he's going to show you where you will need such a solution and the strategies and benefits of each, uh, each situation. Ramon? Okay. Thanks a lot, Tyler, and uh, welcome everybody from my side as well. Uh, I want to start off and uh, underline one thing that Brian said, the ease of installation of the, of the 3CX platform. And you, you've heard all about the, the, the features which are there, the rich feature set. It really is easy to install. We have many situations where we just need an IPPDX to do a demo, maybe on a trade show or a setup for a training or something like that. So. If we need an IPPDX, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, just install 3CX on, on your laptop or whatever machine you have available, and it literally takes a couple of minutes and it's done. Um, so that is really a great thing. Now, if we look at then real production installations, um, uh, of course, there's uh, a few more things to, to take in and consider. And uh, that's one of the what I'm going to get into with these applications. So you need to connect, of course, to the public network, to the PSCN. Um, you may have needs for survi survivability or fallback. You may have needs for uh, connections of multiple offices and locations. And you probably have needs to integrate some kind of legacy equipment which is still there and still needed. So uh, there are a lot of companies out there, and they have different needs, and they have a choice. So we are, uh, want to offer a choice. You heard from Tyler, and you will see later on that you have a broad product line to cover all these different situations. So the first one, and probably the most typical, really, if you do a, an IPPDX installation, is that you want to have a PSCN gateway, so some way to connect your PSTN line, maybe analog lines, maybe T1 lines, or, or E1, or BRI lines, depending on where you are in the world, uh, and you want to bring in those lines to your IPPDX installation. So that's your PSTN gateway there. We have a full range uh, there of, of, of products, which offer from anywhere from two uh, SXO ports up to 32 SXO ports, or up to for T1 ports, so depending on the size of your installation and the number of uh, clients and uh, extensions that you have on the 3CX, you can choose the right PSCN gateway uh, product to fit in there. We'll see later that the way we work together with 3CX and the 3CX has uh, set up a provisioning tool for our gateways really makes it easy for you to integrate these gateways. Um, a great thing about separating the gateway from the PBX is also that you can uh, you know, run your 3 uh, PBX on a server anywhere in your network, maybe on a virtualized uh, uh, platform, and you 
can have your gateways separate from it. You can have multiple gateways that you can stack and, and create some redundancy uh, based on that, or just give you multiple locations for breakout. So the PSDN gateway is really the most used and most typical application and, and use for bringing in a smart node gateway into a 3CX installation. But there are there are more scenarios. So if, um, uh, of course, today you also have a choice of using, uh, instead of a conventional PSDN telephone line, you can use an internet telephone service provider. And you can trunk your 3CX PDX directly to that internet telephone service provider. So what we can offer and add in such a scenario is that you add in a smart node gateway which allows you to create fallback and survivability scenarios and also uh, can help you in the transition from your PSDN provider to uh, an internet telephone service provider. So in this configuration you see that the smart node is actually having multiple connections to multiple networks, the, the 3CX PBX on one side and the, the PSDN and the internet telephone service provider on the other. And in order to be able to handle such an application, we have a, a feature reach call routing mechanism and call router on the smart node that allows you to make intelligent call routing decisions on which calls are going where and uh, at what time. We can dynamically detect, um, uh, for example, the, the, the line state or you know, the available bandwidth and quality that you have on your internet connection and fall back to the PSDN if you need to do so, or you can choose to have incoming calls from the PSDN and outgoing calls to the internet telephone service provider. You can have multiple internet telephone service providers uh, behind that IP connection, etc., etc. You may choose to route uh, certain types of calls, so uh, maybe local calls or international calls, or uh, uh, data calls, etc. Depending on all, the, all various uh, various numbers of criteria uh, to the different networks. So survivability is uh, another argument and, and key feature that you can bring in to a 3CX installation with our gateways. Next up there is the um, integration of remote offices. So, and we can extend that also actually to the integration of, uh, of uh, some legacy equipment and legacy PDXs. It may be that you have a 3CX installation on one side, um, maybe in a branch office or in the headquarters, and then on other sites you have uh, still uh, conventional PBX systems and you want to uh, connect them together. So again, a gateway, uh, the, the gateway of choice with the right ports, the right number of channels, uh, will allow you to do that. And this in combination with um, the call routing functionality that I already mentioned before, allows you to create additional uh, redundancy and survivability scenarios in your network. This is also the case if you have uh, an existing PBX uh, on the same site in the same location and you may want to add just uh, a 3CX installation in, in a department which is newly founded or, or you want to migrate smoothly from one system to another. In each such situation, you need to have a gateway uh, between the two systems. Good. So next up, fax, of course. So uh, we all know uh, fax technology has been around for a long time, and uh, we believe that it's going to stay around for a long time, and that it's still an important tool in, in daily business. Um, and that's why we have invested a lot of effort and, and time in perfecting our support for fax and fax over IP. And this know-how you can bring into a 3CX installation together with our gateway. So the example that we are showing here is uh, actually one where you have 
uh, again, a PSTN gateway that allows you to make your uh, voice calls from and to the 3CX extensions to the PSTN, and then on the same device you can have some additional FXS lines to connect your uh, fax machines there, and in that case the fax would go directly through the gateway out to the PSTN um, and uh, bypass the 3CX system. You can also choose a different setup if you have multiple fax machines which are distributed around uh, an office. For example, you can use dedicated uh, fax ATAs or gateways which are connected to the LAN and the calls being routed through the 3CX uh, Good. And then finally, um, uh, last application here is the integration of legacy equipment within the 3CX uh, system. Um, now, we all know these situations, and depending on the setup, you may have, for example, a hotel installation where you have some office phones where you need a uh, you know, rich feature set, and then you have uh, a number of analog phones where you want to keep the uh, cost low or you want to reuse the phones which are al already there or you may have some uh, special types of phones which are installed for example in elevators or which are installed outdoors or in any kind of, of rough environment and uh, for which you can't just take an IP phone because it doesn't exist in that form factor or, or uh, fulfill the requirements there. So in all of these cases, you will need uh, what we call a terminal gateway. So again, uh, a device that allows you to connect your traditional phones and convert it and integrate it with the 3CX uh, system. Um, for that as well, we have uh, a full range of devices uh, from two up to 32 ports uh, of analog. And if you have some digital devices, like, uh, for example, a PBX, with a T1 trunk, we can also provide uh, a gateway on that side of the equation and tie in all of the traffic that is coming from and to uh, these terminals and devices to the 3CX system. Good, so there is a lot of functionality, a lot of uh, features and flexibility, and um, if you really want to get to the bottom of that and, and uh, exploit all of the possibilities, then I would recommend that you uh, follow one of our certification classes that we are offering uh, around the world, uh, which will uh, also introduce you to, uh, for example, quality of service, routing, VPN functionality, uh, all of the call routing features, etc. But we realize that uh, if you're doing IPPDX and 3CX installations, uh, you, your primary concern is with the setup of that particular system, and you just want to have this PSTN gateway running. So exactly for that reason, uh, 3CX has uh, created this uh, configuration pages where under PSTN devices with a simple drop-down menu, you can select the pattern gateway that you have in your installation, and then with only a few clicks and maybe uh, five or ten parameters that you need to know for your particular setup, you can create the configuration and download into it to the smart node and activate the system. So again, ease of configuration and, and setup is a, is a key point for, uh, for this system overall. And, uh, and 3CX has just recently refurbish the website and, and collect us all of this information so you can find a step-by-step -step configuration guide online which explains you exactly how to uh, go through that. And then if you want to do more, if you find, well, yes, uh, it's all working, but I have this particular um, uh, problem that I want to solve or this particular network integration issue that I want to solve, Tyler always mentioned that we have uh, a great support team which can help you out there to get into uh, more details and really find a solution for almost any problem that you may uh, come across. Good. So with that said, I think uh, I'll hand over to Stephanie for 
a poll? Yes, thank you, Ramon. So we have a poll that um, we'd like our audience to take. The poll asks, what ac application are you currently using this solution for, or do you plan to use this solution for in the future? Integrating PSTN trunks with 3CX phone system, survival ability, dedicated fax line, remote office integration, or legacy phone integration. Please use the interface on your PC to answer these questions now, and we'll give you some time to answer them before we push out the results. To our speakers, do, uh, anything that you predict that will be the uh, prevalent answer amongst the audience? Yeah, I can take a guess. Uh, I think the first and the last one um, will will be the most common with a focus on the first one. I think that's really the typical the typical scenario. What do you think, Brian? Uh, Ramon, absolutely. When we introduced our call center module um, a year ago <coughs> in May, uh, we, we anticipated that a lot of the call centers are going to want a, a PSTN connections uh, with either ISDN T1 circuits uh, or perhaps even POS lines for the smaller ones. So, yes, absolutely. <coughs> okay, great. Well, I think we've given our audience enough time. I'm going to pull up the results. And it looks like the overall consensus was 67.8% integrated the PSTN chunks with 3CX phone system, and with 4.5% saying survivor ability, 4.5% dedicated fax line, 6.8% remote office integration, and the remaining 16% said legacy phone integration. So, Tyler, back to you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, whether you guys are here looking for your own solution or if you are here looking for a solution for your portfolio to sell, uh, we wanted to break this down for you and make it as simple as it actually is. Um, first, what you're going to do is you're going to pick out your 3CX phone system based on the number of simultaneous calls that you'll need to have capacity for. Um, as Brian mentioned, it, it starts at four uh, simultaneous calls for your mini edition, starting at 495 US dollars MSRP or 395 euro, uh, and going all the way up to 512 uh, simultaneous calls. Uh, Brian, do you want to make a comment on uh, these different licenses and where you see them in the marketplace? Absolutely. Uh, as I mentioned, our number one selling license key is the small business edition. Uh, eight simultaneous calls that retails for seven ninety five and by the way, uh, these license keys that you see displayed are without the call center module. If you go to three cx dot com you 'll see that we have uh, license keys with call center module and license keys without call center module. so the ones you 're looking at right now are without the call center module. The small business edition seven ninety five as I mentioned earlier, will support anywhere from ten to twenty extensions uh, for a small medium business. I should say for a small business, uh, we are seeing m quite a few of the Enterprise 32s uh, going out the door. That will typically support a PBX of 50 to uh, 75 to 100 extensions. Um, we And then uh, the 256 si simultaneous call license key, where we've seen that installed is, is typically several hundred extension PBXs. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Star Tribune has a little over 1,000 registered extensions to one uh, 3CX server. So that will kind of give you a, a, a breakdown. But the Small Business Edition 795 is our number one selling software license key. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. <clears throat> so step two then would be to pick out your patent smart node gateway based off your PSTN lines, or in some cases it's maybe your what you need in terms of FXS to, to integrate legacy phones. Um, but the, the SKUs I've listed here are um, our most common um, um, SKUs that we sell with 3CX. Um, as you guys saw, 70% of you guys said you were just integrating PSTN lines. Um, so these are the, the 3CX preferred gateways that are in the auto provisioning tool. They're the gateways that we see going out with 3CX in most cases. Um, so you have two FXO. 
for FXO, that's our 4110 series, so 4112 or 4114. Um, MSRP, those go out for $300 to $400. Um, and then we have our 4940, 50, and 60 series. Really, it's just going to be our 4940, just gateway only, no, no internal router um, included. In most cases, we'll go out with 3CX, and that starts at a little over $1,600. Um, now, you'll notice this is really kind of our U.S.-based list. I'll go ahead and jump over to include kind of our worldwide audience that we have. We also have uh, several preferred gateways and 3CX phone system that are BRI products. That's our SmartNode 4120 and our SmartNode 4630 series. So that will offer you guys anywhere from one BRI to five BRI TE. Uh, I also wanted to notice we simplified this for you guys. We offer a lot more than this. There's a ton of different models, a ton of different SKUs that are not included here. If you're talking about a hotel application where you need 32FXS, we have that as well. You'll just have to go to our website. But we wanted to, to take what are the most common applications and kind of create a cheat sheet, cheat sheet for you guys. And again, all these gateways are certified with 3CX. They're within the auto provisioning tool and they're good to go. Step three, or this is not even a step, but the big thing is you'll receive your 5% discount um, on any uh, 3CX with patent smart node bundle that you buy. Um, and this is only through participants participating channels. So contact us, Patton, or 3CX, and we will connect you with a, a participating channel in your region. And if you're one of our channels and this is new information to you, please contact Brian or myself or Ramon um, or, or our, our two companies, and we'll set you up with this 5% discount that we're going to be offering from now until, until July 31st. It's only for a 3CX license, that, license that's bundled with a smart node gateway. Um, and I will be sending this promotion code out with the follow-up email, um, I guess, in the next two days. So be looking for that and contact us, and we'll connect you with the proper representative that you need to purchase from. Well, that concludes the content portion of our webinar. Uh, before we jump to the Q&A portion, I, I wanted to let you know that we will, again, be sending that follow-up email in the next couple days um, to all registrants, whether you're here or, or you didn't attend. And this will include, one, a recording to, of this webinar if you want to look over it again or share it with somebody else. I'm also going to give you guys a cheat sheet. Um, there's going to be an international one that includes um, our BRI products. There's going to be a U.S.-focused one that just simplifies it down to our four uh, top-selling U.S. smart notes. So it'll have all the 3CX licenses with the MSRP prices side-by-side um, -side with all the smart node gateways that we see in most applications. Um, and then in this uh, follow-up email, we'll also include the promo code that will get you that 5% and maybe some other items. I think we're going to package this presentation for you into a PDF so you guys can share it yourself with your customers. Um, so as far as the webinar goes, that concludes the, the content portion. We'll go ahead and jump into the Q&A. Uh, so Stephanie? Thanks, Tyler, and thanks to, uh, to all of our presenters today. That was a great presentation. We got a lot of great questions in, but before we get to those questions, I'd like to remind our audience that you can still submit any questions via the interface on your PC now, and any that we are unable to get to, our presenters will be happy to answer those offline following our presentation today. Also, each of you, as Tyler mentioned, will be receiving a follow-up email with information on accessing the archive version of today's presentation, so you can review any of that information or pass it on to your colleagues. Let's get to some of those questions. Uh, the first question says, uh, why would you want to connect the IP PBX to the old phone lines? Doesn't this take away from the advantage of IP calling, for, uh, for example, no long distance charges, et cetera? And this question is for Ramon. Okay, yeah, thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a very good question. It's interesting because there are really different aspects to, to voice over IP and IP calling. One of them is cost saving. But well, that's only one of them, and and um, we we see, and a lot of our customers are doing voice over IP for cost savings, and in these cases we are selling gateways where they can con uh, connect their legacy PBX to an IP uh, service provider, an IP telephone service provider. However, the other aspect of voice over IP is really the features and the productivity increase, and this is where 3CX is really strong. 
that you can have multiple clients, you can have you know, mobile, you can have presence, uh, etc. And these customers, they are interested in the features, they're interested in the, in the CRM integration, in the, the Outlook integration, and they're not so much concerned about the cost of the calling. So it's really a customer's choice, and we see a lot of uh, customers and IPPDX customers looking for the features and not so much for the cost savings, and they are more interested in a, in a stable, reliable, high-quality PSTN line that, uh, that they know, and in these cases they take a, a PSTN gateway. Great. Thanks, Ramon. The next question is for Brian. Brian, is it possible to integrate 3CX solution with M uh, Microsoft Link? We always get that question, and I was expecting it. Uh, thank you for ever submitted it, but uh, no. Uh, 3CX at this point, uh, we've we've taken a direction of not to interop or integrate with uh, Link, Microsoft Link. Uh, with that said, however, as we see Link, obviously, uh, an enterprise or a Fortune 500 type offering, uh, we are grateful and uh, to Microsoft because of their marketing uh, their marketing uh, dollars and efforts have really helped us because as people are hearing more about a Microsoft uh, solution, uh, they, they seem to come to 3CX. And uh, so we're grateful for, for, for their marketing efforts and what Link has been doing in the industry, uh, I should say in the marketplace. But no, at this point, we have no plans to integrate with Link. Great. Thanks, Brian. What about uh, BlackBerry? <laughs> we, usually we always get the, uh, the, the Windows mobile phone question. Uh, at this point, no. Uh, we have no plans to integrate with uh, BlackBerry or, I should say, to put our 3CX uh, cell phone client on BlackBerry. As you know, we moved it to Android and iPhone. And uh, we're also taking a wait and see uh, for those who are Windows mobile users. Uh, the last report I saw between Microsoft and Nokia, it seems that they're not doing that well as far as uh, gaining any market share or anything like that at this point. So right now we, we really want to be positioned to support uh, Windows, Android, and iPhone. Great. Thanks, Brian. The next question is for Tyler. Tyler, is that 5% mentioned on the patent and the license combined? Yes, that will be 5% on uh, the smart node gateway and 5% on off of uh, the 3CX license. Um, and again, it has to be together. It can't just be a, a gateway and it can't be a license. It has to be bundled together. Um, and you will receive that through a participating channel um, with a promotion code that we'll give out in two days or maybe tomorrow. Great. Thanks, Tyler. Brian, the next question is for you. Um, someone is looking for some insight into integrating 3CX into a nursing call center. Could you provide any information on that? Uh, yes, I, I can. Uh, I'm, I'm somewhat limited. Uh, actually, my, my largest customer in the United States is running uh, in 400 hospitals uh, all around the country. Uh, uh, they, the 3CX, our software is their SIP engine. Uh, basically, we provide uh, all the SIP and the connectivity within their nurse call system. So, again, it, uh, this particular account of ours is uh, one of the top two manufacturers, I believe, in the world, but it's definitely here, definitely here in the United States. And uh, so we've been running in, like I said before, about 400 hospitals all around the country in this particular uh, nurse call system. So uh, we have quite a bit of experience in that area. Great. And then another person is asking uh, if there will be an email sent out about the 5% discount and how it works. I know yes. that you already touched on that, Tyler, but I don't yeah. wanted to we'll, clarify. Yeah, we'll be sending that in the next couple of days tomorrow, or, or they can expect two days from now. So. Okay, perfect. Okay, the next question asks, uh, does the SN4950 have an SBC feature to support a SIP trunk? This is for Ramon. Uh, so, yeah, well, the, the SBC functionality is on the, on the 4960 uh, currently. Um, if you if you stay tuned to our announcements, we'll soon announce uh, uh, the next uh, generation of our uh, PRI and e E1 P1 gateways, um, where again we'll have also the SPC functionality. So right now, SPC is on the 4960, not on the 50. Yeah. Great, thanks, Ramon. Seems like we have a couple a couple more questions to answer before the end of our presentation. This one is for Brian. Uh, Brian, is there any plan for 3CX PBX survivability, like clustering two servers, et cetera, similar to Cisco? Uh, that's another good question. Uh, they're all good questions. Um, yes, at this point, we have several installs that are uh, using 3CX in a Microsoft clustering environment. 
And what that means is that a call is not dropped. So if one server crashes, uh, the call uh, basically rolls over to the second server. Uh, we we support the, vir the virtual machine uh arena, which means uh, when I talk to someone or a partner or customer, if you say that we support VMware, which we do, and hypervisor on Server 2008 R2, which we do, uh, usually that will suffice as far as, uh, you know, failover or redundancy, high availability, those kinds of issues, the fact that we support uh, virtualization. Uh, but with that said, we're also going to be coming out with some uh, new blog posts on the 3CX website. Uh, if you go to our, our website, 36.com, click on blog, and then uh, you'll see that we've written an article on an active, active um, uh, high availability scenario. You'll see some follow-up uh, from Kevin and our, our technical support guys uh, on that issue as well. So, yeah, that's obviously a very important, um, uh, you know, obviously a very important to 3CX. Great. Thanks, Brian. The next question is for Ramon. Ramon, uh, one of the audience members is asking how they can tie more than 32 FFX extensions into a 3CX session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that would be by stacking multiple gateways, actually. So we offer up to 32 FFX ports in a single uh, unit, so 4932 or 4332. And if you need more than that, you can you can stack them up and, and register them individually on the 3CX. Uh, we, we can actually, uh, each individual FXS line can be registered as uh, an extension on 3CX, or if you prefer, in terms of the call routing, you can have uh, an entire gateway uh, registered on the 3CX and then do the call routing internally on the, on the smart node. Okay, great. Thanks, Ramon. Next question asks if there is a higher density device that can connect eight PSTN lines in a single device. Right. So on the FXO, I guess that will be for me as well. On the FXO side, we have um, so two and four in one, and then 12 FXO ports, uh, 12, uh, 24, and 32 in a single device. Right now, we don't offer a, a gateway with eight ports uh, in the middle there. But you can have four, or you can stack uh, two times four, and then you can go jump up to 12 and more. Okay, it seems like we have time for one last question. Uh, there's been a couple of different ones actually referring to um, how to become certified. Can we just uh, clarify the steps to go about that, and if that's for patent or 3CX or both? So I, well, I can jump in now. I'll, I'll talk about it on the on the patent side, on the smart note. So there is a smart note certification uh, training. It's a three-day class, uh, which is offered around the world. We have uh, the schedule uh, online, um, so you can uh, sign up and register. Or if you have a specific requests uh, for a course in your area, you can send the request there. And then Brian, you can answer on the 3CX side. Uh, yes, we have a 3CX certification uh, exam. Uh, basically, it's a 20-question test. Uh, believe it or not, uh, a, lot of, a lot of folks don't get past that. But um, if you go to our website, there's a training link. If you click on training, uh, you'll scroll to the bottom, and you'll see that there's a 3CX Academy. And uh, for certification, it's just uh, basically uh, pass the test 75% or higher, and then you become a 3CX certified professional. And if you're working for a 3CX partner, then that partner then uh, be, uh, gains rights to become a, a 3CX certified partner. So you'll see a difference on our website of uh, partners that are certified and partners that are not. But we do have a certification program. Great. Well, thanks so much, guys. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. As I mentioned, any questions that we haven't answered will definitely be answered <coughs> offline. I'd like to thank each of you for attending today's event, as well as our sponsors, Patton and 3CX, and our presenters, Ramon Felder, Tyler Dallin, and Brian Conway. One last reminder, check your inbox tomorrow for additional information from the archived version of today's webinar. That's all the time we have. Thanks again, and have a great day.